Peter Marchie, Glasgow Warriors and Scotland. Uh, must have a nice ring to it. How do you feel about uh, first call up? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, delighted. Um, yeah, it's the pinnacle of any, any player, rugby player's career to get called up by their country. So it's uh, yeah, it's a massive, it's massive for me. Uh, and just talk us through that kind of moment where you realise that you're you're in the team to play against South Africa. Obviously, being part of the squad, but then what about that moment that you were, you realised you were in the side? Yeah, it's uh, amazing. Um, just guess my heart um, skipped a beat for a second, but um, yeah, it was a it was a great feeling, and uh, yeah, it was amazing. And what about preparations for South Africa? I mean, in terms of physicality, in terms of that battle you're going to have at Moneyfield, um, it doesn't come much bigger than the South Africans, really, does it? No, they're very very big guys, very physical. Um, they're going to come straight at you um, in attack and defence. So we've been working hard on uh, that aspect of the game. Um, so, yeah, we know we know what they're going to bring. So it's going to be a it's going to be a massive challenge, but one that we'll uh, we'll be up for. And what about your your own game? What do you think has contributed to that? Obviously, having a, a good uh, good couple of seasons with the Warriors uh, under your belts, obviously um, being, a, being a big factor. Yeah, um, you know, this year Gregor Townsend's you know, put a lot of trust in me, and he's uh, he's really given me a good run on the side. Um, so that's been great, and uh, you know, I've always I've just tried to you know, do my basics well, and um, I think you know, Andy said that my high ball is going to be important because they obviously they, they kick a lot. Um, so you know, that's a strength of mine. So that'd be an area if I get on that I'll be looking to um, impress him and just you know all, all the basic um, components. You know, I've, I've really tried to work on this year and feel I've improved. It's not been any bigger than any other game. Every game you play for your country is a massive one, but it's it's a massive opportunity for me to test myself against uh, a group of players that play a side of rugby that I try to play, probably the best in the world. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And what have you been doing in preparation for, I suppose, a very direct game that South Africa will play as opposed to what the All Blacks brought? They play a very, uh, I guess you call it simple and direct game, but it's very effective. Uh, they do what they do very well. Uh, so we've got to get them on the floor as quickly as we can and challenge for the ball and if we do that in front up physically uh, we send a real chance. Um, it's all about uh, world rankings as well, these, these November tests that we're involved in, possibility of winning the next two matches going up inside the top eight. Is that at the back of players' minds as well or is it you just have to focus on what your specific job is on the day? We're very aware of that but saying that all, all, we, all we can think about is we're playing the number two ranked team in the world on the weekend very physical side and we've got to win. It's, uh, I mean, it doesn't add any extra incentive because you don't need any more to win, win a test match.